Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and some of you might be thinking, Lock Noob, what are you doing buying these master locks? Um, I mean, they're just silly. And you're sort of right, it's just that I couldn't resist it. It's it's a Maslock Excel and it says it's a, an 8 out of 10 security rating and I've never tried to decode one of these before. Um, and these wheels all seem to be really quite hard um, when I'm I'm turning them. Um, it's, it's actually really hard to get in there with your with your thumb. Um, it's they're, they're really, 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 really stiff. And I've been playing around with this a little bit to figure out how I can decode it. This is um, bought brand new uh, and it was really cheap on eBay. Um, sort of, it's, it's clearly second hand, but it's brand new in box at the same time. And I just really wanted to have a go at seeing if I could decode this. I thought that I could use um, the method where I depress this down and I, I, I tried that and I couldn't really feel anything in particular. You can see here that I, well, I haven't taken any of the back off to get the code out. You can see no uh, disturbance of the edging and it says to cut here for the uh, reset tool and combination. So the way I think I'm gonna go about this is I'm going to try the indirect method. So if I can't feel necessarily um, what's binding or what what the true gate is on these wheels by doing the the shackle depress, if you like, um, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to find a number um, which feels in a gate and then test the other wheels to see whether they've changed state with the idea that um, if one of these is the stiffest and it's in the true gate, then one of the other wheels will be in turn made um, stiffer. It will bind. Um, so, so that's that's really how I'm going to go about it. So I have to. Um, there's not much movement here, but I'm going to push down here and try and find one of the wheels. Ah, well, automatically that's loose. That's loose. And that's loose. So let's just put it in a number. Clearly, the um, this isn't zero 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 zero, but this is binding really heavily. So, uh, and it's easy to push that way. So I'm going to do it that way. Okay, um, one, no, two, no, three. I'm just feeling to see whether these become looser. Um, back off, four, turn on, no, five now, push down, no, we'll see. it seems loose, can you see how easy it is for me to manipulate these, uh, six now, that did feel like it, I don't know, Did it felt like that moved a bit more, but maybe it didn't, that feels loose still, that feels loose still, that feels loose still, uh, seven, okay, Again, just all feels very loose still. Go around eight. Ooh, ah, okay, that's loose, that's loose. This is now really stiff, okay. Um, let's push this one up then. One, loose, loose, two, loose. You see how loose these are still? Put them back into the zeros. Uh, three, loose. Loose four I swear that's tight now and that's loose, okay four that's loose still two loose still three loose still four very loose still five oh Stiff, okay. One, no. Two, no. Three, no. Four, no. Five, oh, ah, we got it. So, eight, four, five, five. Well, clearly that's the right code, but what's the code in here? Let's have a look, where's my, I've got a knife. So I think you cut somewhere around here, so let's give that a go.
I don't know what I'm doing here, so. Eight, four, five, five. There we go. And there we have it. So the code for this was 8455. Five. And the secret code at the back was 8455. Five. So, I mean, clearly it was, but um, it's really cool to have that kind of like, I don't know, ratification. Why not? Um, cool. Huh? What do you think? That was the Masterlock XL. Um, it seems to, like I said, be able to be decoded better if you um, do the indirect method. So try a number, see if it makes any of the other wheels uh, change their states as it bind. If it does, then um, stay on that number and do the next wheel and then the next wheel and there you go. One thing I would say though is listen to this. It just sounds like it really needs a grease, doesn't it? It's, it's and, and these, these are really gritty as well. So I might need to just, yeah. Um, give them an oil or something. Just not very pleasant lock. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Uh, if you like that video, please leave a like. Shove any comments you want to down below or read them all, reply to as many as I can. And of course, if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. It really helps me out. Okay, see you all next time.